Elementor provides sections and columns for page building, but if you are a beginner, understanding how to use them can be difficult for you. So in this video, I am going to simply explain how to use the sections and columns of Elementor with an example. Alright, so let's start with explaining what a section is. Let's take the Elementor web page as an example. Suppose that we are building this web page with Elementor and we can describe a section as a part or a building block while building a web page. For example, this pink field or this dark red field or this white field are all examples of sections. Let's build our first section simply by clicking on this plus sign. After clicking on the plus sign, it will ask you to select your structure and I will explain this in a minute later in this video. Let me select this one for now. Alright, so we have created our first section now, but let me give a bit more details. So consider that the blue background is our web page and when we create a section, it will look like something like this, an empty rectangle covering the full width of our web page. If you click on this button in the middle, you can edit your sections. For example, let's give it a minimum height. Currently we have a default height, but I will choose the minimum height option. So it will have now a minimum height. We still can't see it very well, so I will give also a background color. And to do that, go to the style tab and select background type classic. And from here, we can give a color. Let's make it red. Okay, now this red rectangle is our first section. If you click on this plus sign, you can add a second section. Let's choose again this one and be able to see it better. I will apply the same rules again. Now, when I click on update and view our changes, they will look like this. As I mentioned before, a section takes full width of the whole web page and if you prefer you can drag the section by simply clicking on your left mouse button and dragging it under the red one. Now if I update it again, this time we see that the red section is above of the orange one. And for deleting a section you can click on this cross sign. Ok now let's start from the beginning again. I am creating again a new section. And this time, let me explain this structure part. So each section must have at least one column defined. If we don't define any columns, we cannot drag a widget or add some content inside it. So that's why if you choose to create a section, it will ask you to select at least one column. And these rectangles here are all columns. I am selecting a structure with a single column. So let's do it. Let me assign again a height and a background color. Now our section has a single column as you can see. This is the column we have. Now if you click the right mouse button, you can add multiple columns if you prefer. Or if you have too many, you can delete the unnecessary columns. And inside the column, we can define our content by adding a widget. For example, let's add a title, a heading widget. Let's change its color to white. If you prefer, you can also center it. And you can also edit your columns by clicking here. And let's also add, for example, a different background color. So let's make it black. Now, as you see, the red field is our section but the black part is our column. Now, if you prefer, you can add additional widgets to this one, to this section. Let's add, for example, a second heading. Let's also position it in the center. Let's go back and let's add, for example, this time, a, this time an icon. Okay, so as we can see, a column can take multiple widgets or multiple content. But now the question is, what happens if I come here back and I want to add, for example, a second icon near of the first icon? Now it doesn't work. 
because at the beginning as you remember we have chosen a single column so let's create a second section and this time let's choose two columns now when i choose two columns this time i will be able to add two widgets side by side for example one icon here and a second icon here or one title below this icon and a second title below this icon okay let me also add some background colors firstly again a height and a different background color let's also give our columns different background colors now if you prefer you can adjust the height and the width of the columns as well you can adjust your columns simply by dragging it to the left or to the right of the page you can edit them however you like from here if you need more space you can give some margins to your columns let's make it 30 and let's make this one 30 as well now let's see how it looks okay so as we can see a section must take the full width of the web page but columns can take smaller spaces and their heights and widths can be adjusted and you can even add some space between your columns now another important question is that is it possible to make something similar like in this picture for example adding four columns like this one uh, inside a single section normally it is not possible we can't do something like this but there is a special widget called the intersection widget which allows us to do that so let me show it very shortly let's delete this ones let's create a new section and as you can see all columns take space from top to bottom we cannot create something like in the picture unless you use the intersection widget so let's choose again a single column structure and now let's add here an intersection widget and intersection widget has automatically two columns and now inside our main section i can add a second intersection widget and since the columns are now independent from each other with the right mouse click you can add for example new columns or again with the right mouse click you can delete columns and you can do all of them under the same section just because we are using the intersection widget if you want to learn more about using intersections check out my other video as well and thank you guys for watching